Hello all, and welcome to another summary of our Ironheart Heroes, a mass the next generation system campaign. So, issue 8. We had Fearmonger join the crew. She was recommended by the mayor after a Bronze Age hero recommended her. The mayor assigned her to the Iron City District in hopes of making the best use of Fearmonger's power, the ability to cause fear, and feel fear, and sense fear. Basically fear. All fear. Alright, with that, the rest of the team at this point was partying at a club as the entire district and city itself power went out. This caused a lot of people concern. Uh, reporting back to base and meeting up with Fearmonger, the crew had a short discussion, which was cut short due to an explosion in the distance. As the group rushed out there, they seen people who confused, people looting, and a whole number of things happening. With that, the group leapt into action, realizing people on the third floor had not escaped yet. As many as, not everyone, as Dombringer and Quinn made their way to the third floor, they seen a bunch of people trapped behind trip wires and an explosive bomb. Failing to stop the explosive, Quinn grabbed it, throwing it to another room, causing an explosion, only to reveal another explosive that go off, which Dombringer leapt on, becoming knocked out. Meanwhile, Everyone else, not everyone else. Meanwhile, they vision, vision leapt through the floors to come help, finding on the second floor someone calling himself Firebug and possibly the fate villain. Villain. After a scuffle, uh, the villain was eventually held off until the rest of the team got there. Fighting off Firebug and taking him down, the crew wrapped up to a good job as Dombringer asked to go to the hospital. We panned over hours later at Dombringer in the hospital bed. The crew kind of talking to her, concerned about her well-being. When at dawn's light, Dombringer's grandfather, a golden age hero of the Greek pantheon, emerged. He did his best to play the role of the concerned, uh, upstanding hero and get his granddaughter to get back on her feet, telling her there's no way she was harmed from such an explosion. It was Fearmonger that spoke up and caused Dawn's lights, Dawn's light masked a crack as he grabbed and was about to threaten when a nurse walked in. He released Fearmonger, um, making up some kind of story as he departed, handing out a signature first. Dawn Breaker being revealed not to be harmed, the group decided they'd make their way back. En route, Fearmonger did a little misdemeanor and Quinn and Vision had a chance to talk discuss where the group was going and what was going to be happening. Once back together, Jacob, James, Jazz was waiting for them. Triple J, a uh, huge fanboy and a go-between between them and the mayor, at, saying that they hadn't been able to hold a mastermind and wanted an update. With that, the group took off to find mastermind and Eclipse. Heading to mastermind's sanctum, they seemed to be gone, finding a video of a robotic cat involved and putting some clues together and a quick calling to some less than reputable contacts revealed that Guide by Bike Geist was behind all this. She was looking to steal a chip from the industrial area and the crew leapt into action, arriving there to find her, her creation, security, all cowering from Fim, the dark fallen angel that the group had banished to the depths of hell. Unleashing the moment of truth, Dom bring her left forward and began to break them piece by piece without much of a problem, summoning things of her family that should not be touched. While the others dealt with Bite Geist robot and Fearmonger maybe getting through to Bite Geist, causing her to surrender. With that, we come to an end there. Open up with the kind of wrap up of that and moving on. Hope everyone's having fun and a great week. I'll see you all Tuesday. Bye for now.